Hold My Drink with Charlene and Ellie, a Go Light original. Yeah, I think I was about 14 or 15, but like I had very bad experience, a very bad experience with drink that I promise you now I'm not even being an over exaggerator, still affects me to this day. What? Yeah. I was taken to Tala Hospital. <laughs> I bleached my hair myself at home. We've all been there. I bought the, no, I bought the bleach off Depop. Sorry? Depop. Meaning somebody else already owned it? Yeah. Charlene, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I think absolutely fine. Girls are allowed to have yes. boyfriends and boyfriends are allowed to have girlfriends. Like, But there's a respect line kind yeah. of thing. Like you don't, you don't want to be ringing your boyfriend and him being like, oh, well, Laura... Is just here in chilling watching telly with me, like, nah, like sorry, <laughs> like what? Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Hell My Drink by Shiny Murphy and Ellie Kelly. Um, in today's episode, we spoke a lot about drink. Yeah, surprise, surprise. Oh, I know it's not the name of the podcast or anything. No, but <laughs> no, we just thought it was fitting because the nightclubs opening and we've been week. doing a lot of drinking ourselves. A lot so, of celebrating. Yeah, a lot of celebrating. Yeah. Um, so we talk about drink, as I said. We do our usual wait till I tell you, the German word of the week, seek from the stalls and sip or skip. This week we touched on some of your dilemmas, um, touched on boy best friends, girl best friends. We touched on drinking underage in the house. Do parents approve, do parents not? What else did we do? Men being trash. Oh yeah, yeah, that was a good Just one. a little bit. Just yeah. a few, we'll do more men's <laughs> trash soon, but... We all want to hear that. Um, and also, we talked about, do you tell your friend that you like them? Yes. Like them? Do you want them to be more than friends? Everything um, kind of circles back to drink. Yeah, you know? somehow just ended up being no, a drink. It was just a topic. Um, but yeah, hopefully this episode is entertaining for you. We had a ball recording it. I know. We are so glad to have people here listening. It's fun. Yeah. Um, I think we first just want to start off by saying... Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for the reaction um, and just, yeah, everything after releasing our first episode, we are just, we were blown away. Yeah, we really were. I feel like everyone wanted something like this podcast from from the reaction. It's like girly chats, boy dilemmas, drunk horror stories. It's the WhatsApp group chat is what we keep going back to and the big sister kind of chats. We wanted it to feel like that and so far... The reaction has been amazing, so we want to say thank you. We hit number one, the number one podcast in Ireland, after an hour of being released. So that was just... Like, but, we weren't even being pessimistic, but no. I just was, like, talking to... We thought we were talking to a wall. It's just me and you. Like, yeah. It was just, yeah. But yeah. now we just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. And every share, every listen, every download, um, it means more than you can imagine. Um, But, yeah, we just hope to keep up this memento. Momentum? Mem- momentum. I don't know. I'm not going to pretend like I know what that word <laughs> means. But we just hope that we keep it up for you and that you enjoy to listen. Well, you, that you enjoy, enjoy listening every week. Yes. And there hopefully we, we give you some sort of benefit and education yeah. as well as it being an easy listen. We want to help you with your problems. Yeah, problem. It definitely does feel like we're home. actually talking to people now. Yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, you're actually going to hear this. You're sitting in your car. Yeah. <laughs> probably listen to this. That's scary. <laughs> I'm scared. But yeah, number one. This is the first mm-hmm. time we're not hungover. I know. We did take our celebrations too far though. We, well, we use any excuse, but I think number one in Ireland was the big reason to celebrate. So we went out last Wednesday and after you ruined our lives. I ruined my whole life. We went out at probably, what, one two o'clock? o'clock? Oh my oh. God, it was one. Oh my God. Oh, we had to eat all day. It was a bit of lunch. Oh my God. We, we drank more out. Prosecco than we ate that day, actually. It was bad. It was great. The next day, I just couldn't stop getting sick. And we had a radio interview the next day. Oh, we had to pull ourselves together. A live radio interview. I just had a pear. Oh, yeah, we were and sitting in like, the studio gonna... eating pears. <laughs> Two and you know it's bad. Weapons. Two pears eating pears. Eating pears. <laughs> we're going to obviously do our little topics that we do every week that we're yes. going to do every week. Um, so we're going to do Wait Till I Tell You, a little story. German Wars Week, so Can't we're all going to be literally fluent in German by the end of these, these Will you seasons? bring us all to Germany? I'll bring you all to Germany on a little trip. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Imagine like a little German event. Oh, with <laughs> like a school tour. We can go to Germany. Oh my god! Okay, Imagine. okay, <laughs> that's on the cards. Um, seeks from the stalls, so we help you with your dilemmas, your problems, 
your kind of opinions, I suppose, and our opinions on the topics yeah. and then sip or skip as well. And then our story times in between as well. Today's topic, we're going to do it over something that's very fitting at the moment, <laughs> yeah. which is drinking. Yes. <laughs> what our whole podcast is um, kind of, well, the name is surrounded yeah, we're by We're not going to be talking about it every week. But no, God, Seeing no. as the clubs are opening this week. Next. Oh, no, 22nd, this oh my Friday. God, this well, Friday. come here. Now they're saying it. But I don't know. I'm holding out a bit because they're talking about now things. Changing it. Yeah. So I don't know. But Please. Imagine being back in a nightclub <laughs> this weekend. In here, it would be mad. It's Wouldn't mad when it? you go away to a different place and you come back. How normal it is. Yeah. yeah. Like in, I was in London the weekend and you didn't have to wear masks anywhere there. No, oh, yeah, yeah. And you come out home and you're like, oh God, a mask. You nearly forget to put yeah. it on. Um, but yeah, if clubs don't open up. We think that drink is a very fitting topic think, yeah. to talk about. Yeah, because how do you even act in a club anymore? Like, even though I it's in a way, over here, it's going to be weird. Isn't it? What do you say to people? I feel like I forget what my night out drink is. Yeah. I wouldn't know what to oh drink Oh my God, I did club. literally in London. I was like, I was at the bar. I was like, oh my God, what am I getting? Yeah. I got a vodka orange juice. Oh, no, what? it reminds me of my mom on Christmas Day. She likes smelling vodka orange juice. That. I no. don't know why. I, and then one of the girls actually thought that she's seeing something get put into one of the other girls' drinks oh, yeah, at the bar. So we just made a swift out. I don't think there actually was anything put in, but we were just scared, so we just left. Yeah. But that was a bit of a disaster trip. To be honest. Anyway, you need to tell us about that later on, will you? So Ellie also has some big news of collaboration <laughs> that you did, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So I recently um, brought out my Be Perfect collaboration, which I am so proud to actually finally bring out. Um, I had Charlene on the shoe. If you saw both of our social medias, um, it's been everywhere. But we are everywhere on our social medias. I'm like, it's everywhere. <laughs> no, everywhere on our social medias. Um, I brought out my own collection. So I have my eyeshadow palette, my um, pigments, my lip glosses lip and my glasses. lashes. And it is called the Born Ready Collection with Ellie Kelly and Be Perfect. I'm very proud. You all need to look at it. It's insane. It's just, uh, it's just weird actually seeing people use it is what I keep saying to everyone. Like, because it's something that I've worked on for like two and a half, three years that I was getting so bored of myself. Yes. So like even like showing people pictures of it before it was released and stuff and seeing their reaction was so fun because I've always just been so focused on my own reaction of it and I'm, no, I wasn't getting bored of it obviously but like I no I know what you mean do you know what I mean yeah. so seeing you need someone else to hold yeah of course just yeah, hold yeah. It in their even hands. just seeing someone else with it and um, yeah all the tags and stuff and people use and I just love and so many makeup artists have been using it on their I clients know. and all I'm just like it's oh. so nice so even we were so up fun. in the store when it was when it was launched and people coming up to Eddie and all being like I had to come in straight I by it straight away like, they bought the, the whole thing make that effort and come in and see it and buy it is just so, so If you've nice. supported that journey, I want to say thank you so much already. I hope you love your collection or your palette or whichever part of it you purchase and support it. Even if you just liked a picture or left a comment, I want to say thank you so much. Um, yeah, two big things happened. Are the podcast and the collection. Yeah, it's been mental. Hasn't it? It's been and a busy fact, few weeks and I, Charlene has just been roped along to everything with me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We're going. In my life. I know. <laughs> We're not sick of each other yet, though. <laughs> That's mental. There's going to be a bit of rivalry here in the Go Loud Studios, I think, all the yeah. podcasts. Yeah, we've oh, met a few other people. Yeah, so. sneaking in on us. <laughs> <laughs> we were saying we can't wait for the um, Christmas, Christmas party. party to get drunk. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing dry January, though. Oh. I'm already planning on doing I want to do dry, dry 2023. Ha- what year are we? 20- 22. 22. You're yeah. already planning. I way know, ahead. yeah, way ahead. <laughs> but I wouldn't mind a dry year because my liver and just life cannot handle this anymore. I just, I can't Great do part. it anymore. I just, I am hungover until Wednesday. Come here. They do get worse as you get older. I was talking to my cousins last weekend and I was like, lads, is it true? Like, it gets worse as you get older. Absolutely. Is 100%. It? Like, I remember being, like, I think we talked about this last week. I remember being, like, 18, 19. You'd be out all night. But, and you'd, you'd think, get up and go to work. you think you're hungover. You yeah. think, oh, a little oh, bit. Oh, God, I'm dying. Headache. You don't know you're dying. You're just tired. Yeah. You're just tired. <laughs> you don't know dying until you're in your mid-20s. Oh, my God. Getting sick all morning. It's just, ugh. So, since today's White Tell Tell You is drunk or drink themed, I thought I'd do, like, a little drunk story. Yes. It's not really re- recent, but oh. it was, I think I was, like, 16. And I actually at the time had blue hair. So, you know, you that's already hair? off to a bad start. Okay. I bleached my hair myself at home. We've all been there. I bought the, no, I bought the bleach off Depop. <laughs> Sorry? Depop. Meaning somebody else already owned it? Yeah. Charlene! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know what you were buying. 
No, the powder was. <laughs> oh, she bought powder online, lads. The oh, powder was, the powder was still in the pack, but the what's it called? The developer yeah, stuff. Yeah, that was definitely used. Oh, that was so God knows, could have been. Oh, I'm mad, bitch. Yeah, I know, but like I was like sixteen, so it was like broke. So, oh. bought bleach, bought the powder, looked up YouTube videos, like looking up grand. I done the first bleach, and I was like, oh my God, my hair is orange. So I went colour, I bet your hair was black or something, was it? It was dark, very dark oh, brown. Yeah, God. but I hadn't coloured it ever. So it was Oh, like, oh it was not it like it did go up. I got like virgin hair. I was but the I'm actually surprised it actually lifted done well. Yeah. Like I done it myself. Yeah, and yeah. with like deep up bleach. So like that's that's bad start. Start. <laughs> um anyway, sorry, back to the story, my hair was blue. Di- sorry, then it was too orange. I wanted to be blonde, but it, then it was too orange to be to ever be blonde. Okay. So my, I was like, oh, I've done two bleaches now. I don't think I can do it again. Probably have no hair left. So I had this crazy colour from my sister's room that I just found. I can in, just imagine you all out. I can in. just imagine you like, do you ever watch the regrets? <laughs> you know Angelica's doll? <laughs> Cynthia? <laughs> Fucking Cynthia in your room on your own. You <laughs> like no hair. She <laughs> just had like a oh, bit of hair. And I missed so many sections and all. Like oh, there's patches of brown. I hair. did it as well and didn't have enough bleach to cover my head, so I was just like a uh, dummy. That's why you buy it on Depop. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> Please. But go on, sorry. I just got a flash of Cynthia there for a minute. I was like, oh. So I've had the blue hair or whatever, and that was already a bad time. And then it was one of my friends going away parties, he's moving away to England and we all went to wherever we were 16 like we were told oh everyone's coming but like don't drink so we're like right Grant so obviously we're like right we'll get what we we'll get to drink, drink. Yeah. And so we got we got absolute vodka and I don't know what it is about absolute but I feel like you can't taste the vodka off, off it it's not as strong as like spurring off no or... it mustn't be yeah. because I was drinking it like it was water I had it mixed with Fanta and I don't I actually can't drink Fanta and vodka <laughs> and, and I had it mixed and I was drinking it so much and then like t- it was literally 10 minutes in and I started to get like real giddy and whatever. And when you get drunk, yeah. kind of, everyone's like, oh my gosh, probably putting it on. Like, then I was a pu- started to puke my ring up. Literally, I was there 10 minutes. That's how quickly it hit me. That's how much I had. And it hit me so much. Puke my ring up. Obviously, I had to get collected. I was sitting in his bathroom for ages with um, a pair of his shorts on. I'm pretty sure I went home now because I got to over my jeans. Um, so imagine like a little blue haired girl running her hair is getting sick you'd be like yeah of course it's <laughs> the little one the blue hair um, and now my sister had to collect me and she said I walked out and I was like peace <laughs> <laughs> she was like I just came to get sick oh my god she, and she was so entertaining because she was always the one that was a bit like she was normally wild. Like that. Yeah. yeah so then when she seen me like that she just thought it was the best thing ever so she collected me Brought me home. I never forget. My mom was looking up stuff about. She'd seen alcohol poison in EastEnders before. She oh. loves EastEnders, so she was freaked and she thought it was going to alcohol poison and die. Oh no! So she was shoving a, like a little mandarin into my mouth of all things. A mandarin. Deep when you're, she was like, people normally do bread and stuff, no, don't they? Ma- a so mandarin, and I actually mandarin. they still make me feel a bit sick. Shoving it into my mouth. Well, she obviously saw somewhere that it, like she must so have. Sure. And I was just getting sick all night and all, but it was just. Did she put you into the shower? No, no. But I put in the shower at Ocean Beach. Actually, here's a little, another little bonus story. <laughs> I put in the shower at Ocean Beach. I was too drunk at that, so I just arrived. Wouldn't and our, be like you. our flight. <laughs> our, I get sick all the time. Our flight was at you know the really early flight. I'd be to like half five or something. Oh, yeah, six. on the Tuesday or the Friday, something like that. And we went straight to Ocean Beach. We got home, put bikinis on, makeup on, whatever, drinking on the plane. Didn't eat anything. Um, drinking like little. Oh, straight the day cups. you flew over, you went to yeah, ocean. Oh, straight no, we away, couldn't. straight away, and just got fucked up. Like, oh. got showered down with people at Ocean Beach. I can't remember. Oh, um, actually, I thought you meant like all oh, the girls brought you no, back to the apartment. No, no, oh, you no. got showered the, down the, in the ocean. Staff beach? Took me back to the What were you doing? I was just a bit like legless. Like. Yeah, really, really bad. And then I was like, please don't wet my hair. Just, <laughs> just not the hair because I just got a blow dry and got my hair done. Of all things, scary about like yeah, when you're your just hair. so drunk. And they kicked us out onto the beach, me and my friend Emma, and we sat there until Ocean Beach was over and just were sitting there. Oh, just, just waiting. Just waiting on a mate. Like, just had no one. And I remember we put up a Snapchat on my, on my Snapchat, and somehow it ended up on, like, do you know the Snapchat public story? Oh, yeah. So imagine having the fear about you being drunk in a video and then it going, it on, going the on the public. And I looked at it, it was like a thousand views. I was like, I don't even have a thousand friends. It was all these random oh. people on the public Snapchat I beat the stories. I go, oh my God, who's going to ever worse, worse for me? Don't just <laughs> say that every Sunday. I'm never drinking again. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, Do we get a meet or something in the week that we forget how bad we are? How felt? bad we are and just redo it's it like again. It's like you just, you're like, oh, I'm dying, but like, I'll just do it again. If anybody ever sees Charlene when she's drunk, it's the funniest thing ever because <laughs> she just sits there and screams. It's so it's so annoying. Funny. Why would I do that? I love it. I don't know. I definitely have a video of you doing it. You just believe. go, ah, ah, and Queen even, even does be like, shut up. And you're just like, ah. <laughs> 
she just screams. Oh she's just so God. excited. But Why would I do, like if that was someone else? I'd be like that girl. Because you don't think of in the headache. moment you're having an absolute blast. It's yeah, the true. best thing ever. You don't. Th- you never no. on a night out think of how you are tomorrow. It's because the next day you think of. I wasn't doing that the next day. Like, hey. Yeah, you don't think of it in the moment. It's the only thing that is entertaining you. Like it's just. But it's worth it when you have a good night. Yeah, but your good worth. nights always lead to getting sick. True. <laughs> <laughs> Don't they? Every time, I think my stomach has <laughs> no lining anymore. Okay, so today's German word of the week, we're actually going to put it into a sentence. Well, I am. We're because technical. it was actually really hard last week. I'm sorry, that was a really hard word. <laughs> and it, like, no one could have probably guessed it. So today, we're going to put it in a sentence. So will I say it first and then put it in a sentence? Yeah, it'd be like, you know those spelling competitions they do in like America oh, and all? And it's like, oh my God. can you put it into a sentence for me? <laughs> I always wanted to do one of them, but I'm not actually. <laughs> do you remember when you're younger and you have to do like um, them maths things against the whole class? Do you no. have to do it in primary school? Everyone stands on the chair. It was actually really humiliating. If stands you on the chair. Maths. Stands on the chair, which probably wouldn't be allowed now. Health and safety. You stand on the chair and they ask you like times tables or like plus. I used to hate time tables oh in school. I used to what? cheat on all of them with my fingers and all. What do you mean? You can cheat on your nine nine times tables with your fingers. How? Oh my god! You never know this. No. I wish we were visual now. <laughs> okay, Shirley, really quick, me ask ask oh, me your hands are so cute. They make me sick. <laughs> Don't even start. Ask me a nine times tables. Uh, nine times nine. I never got that one. You put down the ninth finger. Okay, I'm doing it. Nine. What? How many numbers are on your left hand side? Eight. And how many is left? One. Eighty one. <gasps> It works for any of them. Look, oh seven times nine, sixty-three. God, I would have won king. Four times test. nine, thirty-six. I'm it's fumed. brilliant. Oh my god. Yeah, but yeah. Or I used to have the drum conjure test. Do you remember them? Oh my god. And they told you if they're like, what? What would they actually come out with? Like, I don't know. I don't know what. The, were like they like what you were good at? No. Were they like your sats or something? Remember what are those ones you do in secondary school? Oh yeah, and they t- they tell you what you're good at, like spatial awareness and all that. All that, yeah. I don't actually know. Remember what I was good at? I'm not very yeah, spatial clearly aware. Ne- yeah, I clearly never remembered that. Dan one. I was always like, you drive like you drive a the Dublin bus. Oh, stop! Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, your German oh, word. German word of the week. Yes. I wonder actually is Oktoberfest coming here. I think it is. Oh my god! Can we go with you when you translate everything and just be yeah. German? Love yeah. it. Oh They've, my god! Probably no one German's going to be there. Though. Why? There was Oktoberfest in London actually, and everyone's going around them proper kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. <gasps> think, I don't think it's like a German thing here. Like it's just going to be Irish people. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> with beer. Okay, <laughs> let me think. What was the word last week? It was Schleipstich. Yes. Well done. Was that it? Your mum um, would be proud of me. Stoholm. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> It's drink, it's so drink related. It's drink related. Say it again. Stroham. How do you do that with your mouth? I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I can't even roll my oars. Can you? No. So I wouldn't be able to use Spanish. A Spanish person. Okay, put it in a sentence. A good, the good length of a sentence for me now. Well, don't hit me with a three-word sentence. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you're at the bar. Yep. You're getting a drink, yep. and you say, "Can I have a stroham?" Put it in a German sentence. I want you to say the German. That makes no sense. You're not going to understand. I don't care. I like to hear you speak it. Come on, Um, please. I love it. um, Pretend you're at the bar in Germany doing your little dancey and then you go to the bar. I don't know what you say. Don't upset any Germans now, (laughs) Cher. Sometimes the case beforehand. Do you ever get to do German skill? Yeah, like like four years. I feel like I'm going to get it wrong. But anyway. You will. um, Can ich bitte einen Strohhalm haben? Oh, well, you're asking for something, please. Yeah. You say, can so, I have a something, yeah. please? Yeah. Stro- say it. Strohhelm. Strohhelm. Yeah. <laughs> Did I do? Do you know how to spell it? Does it have that weird B thing? You no, know, I actually don't know how to spell it. Let me have a little look. You know that, like, B, the big, like... The, yeah, S, 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 S. Yeah, that. Um, so it's spelled S-T-O-H-H-A-L-M. L-M. Strohhelm. Strohhelm. It can also be called it's Pink Helm. Oh, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm going to say it's a type of drink. Are you asking for a shot? No. What's a treat? Three guesses. Okay, first I said shot. It's yeah. not a shot. Straw. It's not something you'll... Yeah. Is it straw? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am German. So straw is straw. So like, say like straw from the field. A straw field? Yeah. What? Do you know hay and straw? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That. Schreibstift. I'm going to say them all. Wait, say the first one. Uh, Schreibstift. Schreibstift. And strohhalm. Strohhalm. Yeah. I am German. Thank you, Shelley, <laughs> for a German word of the week. <laughs> So we thought because the clubs are open this weekend, like we said, fingers we're crossed. Do, yeah, God, please. <laughs> um, that we're gonna do drinking. 
yeah. episode, drink, drinking episodes. Drink, I wish. <laughs> kind of, our topics are just going to kind of revolve around that drink yeah. in general, I suppose. Yeah. And um, again, not every week is going to be just about drink. No. I know it's called home I drink. It's not just going to be drink. Um. So, Eddie, when did you start drinking? Oh God, do I even want to say an age? <laughs> are we allowed to? Say an age? I <laughs> do remember. I I don't, I don't actually know what age I am. Like I remember being like hanging around your your local area and having an old drink your locality yeah your locality <laughs> on the weekend and thinking you're having a drink but now that you look back at it you're like you literally had two cans but it hits you so oh, hard oh when you're that age though, like you shouldn't be I do, I'm going to say I was maybe like 15 yeah I was 15 15 is junior cert year wasn't yeah. it I just revert everything oh, back no, I was to 14. my junior cert year I always think yeah. of years even when you talk to someone now you're like oh what's yeah, what year are you yeah. in yeah so I'm going to say between maybe second and third year probably so what? Are you, how old are you then 14 or 15 14. that's yeah. dreadful god we are not condoning this underage no. drinking wait until you're think, yeah when I think of it I'm like oh my god I'm so young because yeah, I just think of it now that, like if I had a child but like I think it's the type of thing like I don't know maybe if it's just my family but like if you have an older brother or a sister, your parents know if they did it. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be the second child to do it kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. I obviously They've have had my a own. practice run at it. And yeah, no, that's why be... my sister was the practice run. I was kind of the okay, we we'll gotta get away with it. And then Jack's just the golden child. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how it works. Sunshine's out with it. Yeah, like but um, thing, so. yeah, I think I was about fourteen or fifteen. But like, I had very bad experience. A very bad experience with drink that I promise you now, I'm not even being an over exaggerator. Still affects me to this day. What? Yeah, I was taken to Tala Hospital <laughs> from um, Br- British Bay. We used to have a mobile home down in British. It's in Wicklow. Yeah, and um, we used to go down there every year uh, for the whole of the summer. Yeah, my dad would only come down on the weekends, so we'd go down in May and not come back till school in like September. Um, I loved it so much. It was my favorite. Like I spent nice every birthday from when I was four, I think, t- until I was sixteen down there. My birthday's in August, so Aww. every single year until I was about sixteen, we stopped going down then. Um, but yeah, there was one night there, I drank <laughs> vodka like it was water, oh. sitting in a public bathroom, swinging my legs. Oh, uh, like I was sitting up on a on a bench, swinging my legs in a public bathroom, drinking straight vodka. Oh. And like I still, if I think about it so much, I get flashbacks from it as well. And I am, um, I was on a trampoline then at one stage. So that obviously didn't <laughs> help. No, no, anything. Um, I think someone tr- someone tripped me up and I fell face first into a lamppost. Oh, is that why you went to the hospital? Um, the no, I think it was because I was. I think yeah. I think I think <laughs> I think somebody them. might have passed me by and saw like a lump on my head, oh. and somebody calls an ambulance and an ambulance came from Tala. Put me. My mom took a picture of me in the back of the ambulance. Just to show yeah, it. to show me to yeah, be like, no. "You're a disgrace." Like that's <laughs> disgusting. But I vividly remember waking up. Oh no, I think I had only got my belly button pierced or something, oh. and I had to have a cat scan, so they had to take out all my piercings. And I remember that being the only thing I was devastated about. <laughs> I was like, Please, "My no. piercing!" <laughs> but I, I vividly remember waking up the next morning, turning over like, and I, I have no clothes on. I'm just in that little thing where your bum is out like you know oh that little god. dress yeah oh my god turning over looking at my mom who was asleep on a chair like god bless that poor woman the shit I put her through looking at my mom and I rolled back over and went back asleep <laughs> I was like this is a dream you're not even like no nah. like- yeah I was like this is a dream <laughs> but I tell you now I got a stern talking to by a doctor the next morning really oh yeah she frightened me like she came in and she was like people do that, your they? age leave here in a body bag like the way that you carried on last night and I was like oh my god yeah and it genuinely I'm, I wouldn't be a, my mum and dad say it all the time since then she doesn't know how it's torn me off drink forever like it's still hot it was straight vodka wow. but I wouldn't be a huge drinker no, now no. and like a lot of my friends I have I have friends since I'm that age 15 or 16 mm-hmm. and some of them will still say to me I've never seen you drunk like I've never I've seen never you I've really never seen you that drunk do you know what I mean I'm never like I'd I'd be kind of well, merrier. Also, you're not really, some people aren't like a messy drunk. You're not like you wouldn't be messy. No, I think I can just. Con- I think I swear. I think it's since you then. have something in your head that stops. It's like your mental. A mental I, and I think that it's you that. Can't actually get I swear. Drunk. I think my body tells me like you don't want to get to that again. Wow. Kind of thing. Like I remember nothing. Absolutely that nothing. That scares me as well. Oh, it was terrifying. My, my, I was saying stuff that and all. I know. Thank God I had people around me. My sister and all was there, but like. Yeah, still to this day, my mum and dad would say, like, I'm not a massive drinker. Like, I don't, I wouldn't drink at home on my own. I know. It sounds, this sounds really terrible, but I'd only drink to get drunk. Is that bad? Yeah, no, I'm like that as well. Do you know what yeah, I mean? I wouldn't sit there and enjoy no, a drink kind no, of thing. No. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> I would. Does it? Like, maybe with, like, a meal. 
I wouldn't sit See, in my, I wouldn't. In my hand. Would you not? Not have a Coke. <laughs> Would you? Yeah. I do love a glass of wine. See, I wish I did, but I just don't. But when I get drunk, like I'll just have... There is drinks. Don't I get me there's wrong. There's drinks I will like. Yeah, like we went out on Wednesday. Yeah, I was langers. Like I, I, I. Oh, that's a bad word. I think I don't know. Um, I was really, really drunk. But <laughs> I, um, like I, I, I would drink. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. I wouldn't be. Uh, I don't know. You wouldn't be like, oh my god, I love a glass of something. Absolutely yeah. not. Couldn't no. think about more. I'd rather a glass of milk and a cookie. Like I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just what a combo. And I swear to God, my mom genuinely still does say like it's from that. I think it's from that night. Yeah. Wow. And I went back the next day, back down to Britain, like an absolute gobshite. I, like I was, the, I was the black and blue. Face it's still my on, face was black and blue. Like I was broke up. I went back down the next day. Um. And back out to everyone with a jumper, a black jumper that I think somebody had gotten it for me for a, a present or something. And stitched across the front of the jumper was my name in big, huge, luminous pink green, pink writing. And I'm just like, the one jumper you could have picked out your wardrobe. <laughs> you didn't need everybody to know it was you. And people were asking me like, oh, you all right? And all. I was like, oh my God. Oh my God. I actually want the ground to swallow me up. I feel like that is though you're a little bit proud of it as well. Not proud, but like, were you not at all like, oh my God. No, I think I was mortified. mortified. Yeah, because yeah, mar- yeah, yeah. there was a boy that I liked down there at the time. And he had absolutely no interest in me whatsoever. And Queen, and especially not after no, that. Jesus, especially not after that. But my sister told me that I was in the back of the ambulance screaming his name. Oh. <laughs> in the back of the no. ambulance calling his name. Where I, I don't even want to say his name in case he knows. <laughs> he He's probably oh yeah, but I no, I think I just had the fear so much. I still remember the, the top and all. I had a massive top from River Island, and I can still picture it. And I love it. And it was just sick all over it, oh, and I lost my piercings and. I just genuinely think I'm traumatised since then. So. I know, but I think stuff like that can actually stop you from... It's like you don't like it the does. lack of control. Yeah, it's just like a mental block or something. Now, yeah. I, I'd say people listening to this now are going, you big fat hypocrite, I see you out every weekend. <laughs> like, but Falling around. I just, yeah, I don't... No, it does. There has obviously, God, been nights where, like, I was drinking in one of my friends' house, Nicole's, <laughs> recently, well, this year, and I got so... Well, I had a pizza before I left her house, got back into my own bed, was so drunk... That I didn't get up to get sick. I rolled over in my bed and got sick in oh. my bed. <laughs> so if I'm not turning the listeners off drinking. I actually done that before I got sick and I oh, just laid it I was just like, yeah, I laid it down. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like yeah. I just can't move. Yeah. Yeah. So like, I there has obviously time. been states where I've been in a hula hoop. But yeah. like, the whole hospital thing just, yeah. It I was on a drip. It's, it's like in your up. head and maybe you just don't drink as quickly now. Yeah. Like just thinking that. I don't know. Yeah. Or even, are you turning off vodka? Do you have to drink vodka anymore? It wouldn't be my first choice to go to anyway, no. but it just kind of, I don't know, it's not, like even I went to a wedding on Friday, it was a, um, mm. a family wedding down in Limerick and I think it was after we, so we obviously went out on the Wednesday, mm-hmm. we're drinking Prosecco and we had a bottle of Moway oh. at one stage, shots, whatever. I was handed a glass of Prosecco at the wedding and I drank it and I was like, I'm not drinking anymore. No. So I didn't Prosecco. Yeah, didn't drink for the night. I was just like, no. It's because that. And my I brother just had four bottles of wine. <laughs> you ever get when you're hungover, you look up like, how? Why am I hungover? And all like all these. I always the do bubbles like, or something. I was it? looking up like, why do you get so drunk after Prosecco? <laughs> and it was like the bubbles go straight. To, like they actually scientifically did it go straight to your head. That's why you get drunk. Prosecco because. drunk is a different type of drunk, oh isn't it? Hundred percent. Like, va- like I feel like different types of drink give you such a different type of drunk. Yeah, they do. Different type. Of bu- yeah. Like, definitely. don't they say that about? Not men, I'm not being sexist, but like that, like whiskey sends them sideways. Like, it does it? Yeah, they go really aggressive. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, and maybe like I made that up. Gin makes it a bit emotional. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, look, do you know yeah. what I mean? Gin makes you cry. It hits you differently. So I do think different types of drink make you. Well, I'm scared of like, I was. Drunk. I don't remember walking from <laughs> that restaurant to where we were sitting then. On Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, we got actually so twisted in town it. and we're in the Shelburne and all at one stage. Oh my God, like who even see? Oh my God. Talking to the man behind the counter in the Shelburne. Oh my God. Was I in the Shelburne? <laughs> yeah, we, I think, yeah, oh we all were. My, I don't remember that. Yeah. I hate not remembering. He was just thinking, And also, out. actually, thank God my phone actually died. So I couldn't oh, put your phone died. What happened? I, I remember one time, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I remember I put up so many stories and I had the fear of God oh, in me. Them. So I just leave them. I've ne- ever since then. I'm so I'm actually really good at my phone now. I Are never you? really wake up and I'm like, oh my god, why did I put that up? Now? Yeah, because I feel like it's like that mental block in my brain doesn't actually let yeah, me. Yeah. No matter how drunk the I close am. friends on Instagram is just brilliant now, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but that gets not the wrong one. Oh yeah, oh shit. Sometimes I put something up on my real story and, and people text me, did you mean it's for close friends? I'm like, no. Like, no. <laughs> my friends are like, no. <laughs> oh, God. Was that bad? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Um, but yeah, I think the first time I drank, I was fourteen. 
mm. and I had a half a nagging. I remember feeling it hit me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, what I did just... you drink of it? Do you know? Coke, coke or something? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll see. I don't mind coke. Fuck a coke. Oh no, because I don't drink coke otherwise. Right. So then when I have it, it's like yeah, like, like I, I know love coke to be with vodka. I know? love Red Bull, so I won't drink it with vodka because I love it normally. Like... I like Red Bull and vodka because oh. I don't drink it normally. See? Yeah. You don't. You can't. Do if you so don't drink it you can't. No. Oh. I don't know. That's why I got why I got the orange and vodka because why is vodka always our first choice to go to at that age? Or did you did you not drink cider? No, I never did. Oh my god, we used to drink cans of uh, we called them Druids. Stone Gaff at the time, they're Stonehouse, but we called them Stone Gaff. Gaff. I'm so <laughs> embarrassed for myself. We drank Druids, yeah, and you'd share a four pack of Druids, like oh you'd my go to in we used to drink flagons, they were called. What's it's a, a two litre bottle of cider. Oh. That you buy for I'd say about four euros. Was it in like a plastic? Yeah, bottle? just a pl- like like a bottle of seven up and we called them flagons. Ew, I don't know warm. if that's just us. Oh, this shite that we drink when you drink anything it doesn't matter I or know. I used to rob drink do you ever rob drink out of your house yeah, yeah. I think I robbed um, we used to do that like fill it back up with water something. yeah I think we only had my mom, mom and dad aren't really big drinkers so it no. was only real weird I'm oh, hanging drink. my mom and dad out to dry here I'm like yeah. I fleeced you yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm joker. my sister used to do that though she used to um, put water in the vodka bottles yeah, and then yeah. when you actually my mom had never done it but I've heard that if you freeze it it actually will show if someone filled up for water because half of it will be runny, half of it will be... Should you not remember that in Ibiza? Oh my God. Yeah. The, their vodka was a gloop. Yeah, yeah. So obviously it was fake. Or it not was fake, but like... filtered down. Yeah, some down. kind of... Not real vodka. vodka. shouldn't freeze. But yeah, you were 14 drinking your first Yeah, drink. and I remember how it was It was Paddy's day and I was... Oh half my God, mad. yeah. 100 mils of vodka and I was pissed. I remember feeling like the start... We were just out in a field. Mad. No, we actually just walking around the local vicinity. Oh, oh God. The places <laughs> I drank it, honestly, candy. you'd be worried. Like, I'd... S- I wasn't that... We weren't actually that bad for, like... Oh, God. Drink or we used to drink in containers. You know a football f- oh field God. container? In the smelly change room, like... No. Do you know... Do you ever see... You know a football pitch? Yeah, what? Do they not get changed in them? Oh, do they? Do they? I don't know. This thing was run down, dishevelled with fucking mattresses in it and all. It was oh, horrible. Oh, Anybody man. from L- Luke rabies. and who hung around with me then, <laughs> you probably remember drinking in the container. Or the names of places that we drank was mad weird. Um, you don't really see people doing that anymore. I swear to God, I was going to ask you this. Do people still do that? Or are people just so, like accustomed and normal to it now that you let your 14 year old drink in the house because like I, I know so. that some parents are like I'd rather them drink under my roof than yeah. like me in a fucking container so when did like, your mom and dad ever buy you a drink when you were younger Jesus no I was bought for my God, junior no. night I was like can I just have some drink because I can gonna drink anyway like that yeah they were like Parrot Bay oh them I love them the slushies yeah, yeah. The but then it was weird cause when you went into it, it was junior night so when you, you're drunk going in then when you get in all you can get is like a diet yeah. coke <laughs> We're just sober enough. <laughs> yeah. there. You're just sober through no, night and you sit there like... I don't drink. remember my mum. Uh, maybe, I'd say the first time my mum maybe like bought me my own drink was if I was going on a Debs or something. Yeah. She'd buy a bottle of Wicked. I think yeah, my first Debs was maybe like fourth year, fourth year probably. So she might have bought me a drink then. But like I never remember being... Going out on a Saturday night and like asking, them. she wasn't yeah. stupid, but like she's no. she was dead wide, especially after no. fucking me being sent to Tala Hospital. She was dead wide, but I, I just think... She used to just put it to the back of I her think, head. Do you know, I think German, because my mom's German, I feel like yeah. they're more accustomed to it. Do you reckon? More, yeah, because basically at, when you're in Germany, you can drink when you're 16. Oh. So I went, I actually done a month in Germany for fourth year. Uh, was it? Yeah, fourth year. And Were you 16 I could buy at the drink. time? Yeah, I could buy a drink. <gasps> and it was, me- it was the maddest thing ever. Like, you had to buy it. Now, it was only, you couldn't buy spirits. Oh. It was only beer and wine. So no the way, way they do it is really good because everyone I was with then and the parties I was going to, everyone was just really like... Mature. Civilized and not not falling around the place, yeah, and I think yeah. it makes you mature that little bit quicker. And if it's available to you, you're not really you're not, you're not looking do for it as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you're not hanging around shops like you're not going to be like people to come in. For you yeah, not, it's oh nearly God, when it's there you do it less. Yeah, in a way. of course. Yeah. Um, but my mom would have been not as strict on me then because she's kind of used to that. I suppose yeah. and like she'd let me have like you know supper or wine at dinner or something like that. But it just normalize it instead of if you're really strict to your kid too strict. I think they're more sneaky. Did you ever see that picture of somebody holding a board and it's like if you if you try and Tain them, they'll oh my God. try and fly away. But That's if you let one. them loose, they'll stay with you. Or yeah, something. yeah. So yeah, I do think like because some parents do let their kids drink like yeah. that under their roof and stuff. But I don't know. To I don't know how extent. I'll be if I if I have kids. I know because I'll just think of all my own shit that I got up to being like not a hope. I know. Do you know what? It, do you remember the night you were junior night or whatever? Yeah. Didn't we all have school the next day because they wanted to see who would come in or something? 
They definitely did that at my school oh anyway. God, we had Junior and I on like, season, <laughs> like on like oh. a Wednesday or something to see who would, if you came in the next day kind of thing. And to see if you're hungover. Like. I, I think so. Oh my God. Can you even get a hangover 15? I remember I was, I we had to, so we had to sing at some like Paddy's Day event then. A few years later we were drinking that Paddy's Day again. And I remember going to school, I was like, I'm so hungover. I'm oh. like, definitely just was not. <laughs> like I was probably in bed by 11 p.m. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like, No. No. I wish my hangouts were like that. Oh, stop. Really well, you could just were. power on through. No. I can't even sit into my car the next day. Thank no, God, because it's definitely illegal. I figured, like, out, I figured out that car journeys make me really sick because I was fresh. I was fresh in the taxi in, actually, but then on the way home, I was like, oh my God, I don't feel well. Last week? Last week, yeah. to the radio station. And then come back from Belfast that time, that sent me west too. I was when? fresh until I got in the car from your lunch. Oh, Jesus, we were sitting in the back of my car, though. Oh. Oh, my dad driving. Oh, my God. Oh, she oh. getting sick. <laughs> no, yeah, that was actually sending me quite well. Sitting in the back of any car. No. Next up, we're going to do some secrets from the stalls. So, yes. like, every week we're going to be asking you to send in dilemmas, questions, like, things you want our opinions kind of yeah. on. Um, and we're going to read them out and hopefully give us some guidance again. Why sure. aren't we? We are not Bible. Yes, we're not Bible. <laughs> Just our take, little... Yeah, advice. take them with a pinch of salt, I yeah, suppose. So they're all anonymous as well, by the way. So I'm going to put oh, them gotcha. on my Instagram every... Probably every Monday or Sunday and get them in. Yeah. So if you want to give them, then definitely do that. So the first one is gas. So dilemma in capital letters. I knew I had answers. <laughs> my best friend's fella is a piece of shit, but she just won't leave and what should I do? She doesn't mince her words. Uh, no, I yeah. A piece of shit. I'd love to know how. What's What's your definition of a piece of shit? Well, obviously, if she's he's a piece of shit, he is like yeah. It depends. Yeah, it depends what he's doing. But I feel like if if a friend said he's a piece of shit, he they is. know because your friends yes. your friends know your worth. Oh, of course, yeah. Do you know? And then, well, she must be a really good friend. Actually, first of all, send that in. You must be a good friend. Yeah. Um, but it's it's a really tough one because I think you can tell someone and say you're have no voice left. Blue in the face. What to do? That's that's what I actually was looking to say. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to find that. But that one in my vocabulary today. Um, you can tell them that. But until they figure it out themselves. I know. It's hard. It's really hard. And I feel like we've all been in. We've all either been the friend to tell you that your fella's a piece of shit or we've been on the other end of it where your friend is telling you that your fella is a piece yeah. of shit. Do you know what I mean? We've either all been on one side of it. So you can kind of understand both. I feel like a lot of people would be open to like hearing both sides of it. Um, Definitely. But like we said, you can only tell someone so much what to do and you also don't want to affect in your friendship either no you don't, you don't want to be annoying to, yeah you'd never want a fella to come in between your friendship to always be at them telling them what to do because at the end of the day they're only going to do what they I want i think there's two themselves. there's two types that there's one person who's always telling oh my god he's doing this he's being so mean this week there's that type of thing or else there's something that you can see from the outside being like, okay, no, he's being really bad to her but she's not saying that. Right, okay. I mean, I feel yeah, like yeah. The, the first kind of like, oh, like if someone is constantly like telling you, say, something really bad's after happening, like every day they're fighting and then the next day they're perfect. Like that's like, oh, it's like you'd nearly be like, I don't want to hear it anymore. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. If, if they're being a piece of shit but it's just like you have to be the friend and have to just listen to it. You and know. until they realise themselves you can just say I told you so yeah no, I've definitely, it is I've definitely been in that position I think I've been in both to be honest yeah I've been definitely in both oh absolutely and you I'd just say I was melting people's brains yeah like. but as hard as it is as well to be the person listening to your friend saying your fella's a piece of shit as harsh as this might sound you don't really care not no. that you don't care but no. you're just so wrapped up in oh, love you're oblivious <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah blinded by love and all that you don't jazz. you don't ever notice you how don't bad care. something is until you're out of yeah. it you would rather be Maybe I'm well. I can only speak for myself. Mm. You'd rather be in a in a situation than be on not your be own. in it at all. Yeah. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. As sad as that is, you'd, you'd That's rather be in so it. So sad, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. It's a toughie. It really is. Yeah. It's just knowing her worth, I suppose. And but for you in that situation, but she doesn't know that herself. Yeah. That mm-hmm. is hard. I think just. I suppose building her up in different ways, maybe like suggesting for her to not being like you need to do this, yeah. you need to do that, but like maybe sending her little quotes and stuff. Yeah. Like, my, like it's just little hyping things her you can up. Do. Yeah, hyping her up to help. Yeah. Maybe to let her see her worth and get over herself. But I think it's really hard to give someone advice when it's the same, probably advice every time. Mm. And but like that, you don't want to fight. It's such or... a girl thing. Oh, it is. Like, it's so funny that boys just don't do that, isn't it? No. Imagine a boy coming to her friends every week. I hate Fuck boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have it so easy. Yeah. Um, 
my friend Lucy actually she was there for me the whole of my first breakup ever like I was really young and she's like I just have to listen to you she's like I just, just have to listen yeah. and be like yeah not yeah. along so you just have to agree as as annoying as it can be you just have to and we've all been just there just nod and go along I yeah know. exactly and we probably will be for the rest of our lives yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah just being there for I think it's the main thing but you're a good friend for asking and for caring Um. I have a boy best friend from college and he announced that he is really in the, oh that he is in love with me. I really Aww. don't know what to do because I'm scared of going into a relationship due to my previous relationships and getting hurt. This is really cute. That's, Has that ever happened to you? What? Is someone like announced I love me? Turning into a, no, because this is... Are you mad? No one loves me. No one loves me. Oh, so yeah, it's a boy best a friend. A boy best friend in college. That's cute. That's never happened to me. No, 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 like a friend. Confessing. Not like that you know. Real... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a real movie thing, though. Like, oh, friends yeah. to lovers, isn't it? Yeah. Like, really cute. But I don't think she should let it's easier said than done. A lot of things we say are so much easier said yeah. than done, but I really don't think you should let past relationships like define your future. Right? Yeah, whether this is like like romantic relationships or friendship or, relationships, yeah. um, this can kind of apply to both. Try your best. I'm a bitch for it myself. I do it myself. Mm. You 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 psych yourself out thinking, oh God, no, this is going to be the same as the last thing yeah. that happened. But it's try your person. hardest. Yeah, yeah, like you. What do they say? There's no harm in trying, kind of thing. Yeah. You won't know until you try. Yeah, and if you do try, at least you can say, well, fuck it, I tried it, yeah, kind of thing. Does she say she um, liked him? No, I wonder. Does she? I think she must. Well, yeah, she, she must. She's scared. Oh. Oh my god, we need an update on this. Yeah, that's oh my god, imagine they got together and got married. Oh my god, the first the home I drink wedding. <laughs> oh yay. I think yeah, it's hard when you've been hurt in the past. Like I you remember know. when I met Dano, I was like I was off boys. I was like, I'm off boys for Lent. I, li- I think I looked for Lent. Like, yeah, no, I goes, by the way, I'm off relations for Lent. So How I'm many not- days is Lent, Leon? Do you know? Forty days. You were off boys for 40 was, days. Oh yeah. I'm so That's proud of you. <laughs> That's not great at all. And I don't think I just it either. Um, but I was like, no, I just, I'm, I'm just not asked for a breakup again. Like I was just like, fuck I this. Know. They're all trash. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then he actually ended up being lovely. And um, like, oh, I feel like I'm a part of your relationship. Yeah, I yeah, love it so much. You're going to have a room in our house. I know, I can't wait. I'm <laughs> moving in with them. They already know. Daniel already knows. But like, imagine I hadn't of like met imagine, imagine I hadn't, hadn't given it that yeah given it a go hurt. yeah and I think as well you'd be sitting here still hurt like do you yeah. know what I mean and I think you're actually letting the ex or ex-friend ex-boyfriend Whoever letting them win, win. You're, you're actually letting them predict your next your future like, yeah you need to take them remove them control alt d from your brain oh I like that control alt d yeah control alt d from your brain yes and, and like I said you the don't trash. know until you try yeah this could be a wedding type shit it, they, but this also could be a big fat disaster. But at least you, <laughs> at least you tried. Yes, you and tried. It, you can blame turning and Ellie if yeah. you're end up if it all goes tits up. But I think if you never try, you never know. No, and you just need to try. Oh, that would annoy me if I didn't try. We need an update on this, girl. Please, please. Send if me. you're listening, can you please give us an update? <laughs> Yay! This one actually came in a few times. So this is opinions on your boyfriend having a really close girl best friend, like proper, proper close. Oh Jesus! What does proper, proper close mean? Like you have, Charlene, you have a lot of boyfriends. Boyfriends, yeah. But Dano doesn't I was gonna have say, any girlfriends. They're my friends now too. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They're, oh. Yeah. Yeah, you have a we lot. Have. We Yay. have a lot of boyfriends. But Charlene does have a lot of boyfriends. <laughs> yes. But Dano doesn't Dano have a lot of girlfriends. girlfriends. So I can't actually tell exactly what I'd be like. Mm. But like, I wouldn't be going up to like their house by myself. And I've, I've heard of that. Have you ever heard like a oh, boyfriend yeah, yeah. like hanging out with the girl alone in her house and all? Nah. No. no, I had boy like boyfriends growing up, but like I think it was in a in a collective group. Yeah, of us, you know what I mean. Everybody, you all have those groups growing yeah. up where there's a certain amount, a certain few boys and a certain few girls who all hang around with each other. Yeah, and there was there was a few boys who would come to our house and just chill. You'd come for cups of tea, like. Just I remember, by, by themselves. Yeah, by themselves. The yeah. boys would come over to one of the girls' houses, and we'd all be just lying in the bed, not just, just you chatting. And him. No. Because that, if we well, would it be? I did have a friend who lived around the corner from me and we used to do that. Yeah. I think we might secretly fancy each other as well, so. Well, then. easy. <laughs> There's always something behind it. But I don't know. It depends. Like you said, there is a line and I think, I think absolutely fine. Girls are allowed to have. Yes. Boyfriends and boyfriends are allowed to have girlfriends. Like, but there's a respect line kind yeah. of thing. Like, you don't, you don't want to be ringing your boyfriend and him being like, oh, well, um, fucking Laura is just here in 
chill and watching telly with me like, nah, like sorry <laughs> like what <laughs> No. I don't know. Do you know what? I'd love to hear from somebody who does have that kind of relationship and their partner doesn't find it like Weird. phased. You must be so See, secure really, in your relationship. Dana's really chill. So I can't even get a good gauge of what he's like. Yeah. He just, he's so chill. I love him so but much. But I wonder. He's so cute. I wonder if. He'd be like, okay, Charlene, bye. Yeah, bye. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wonder if he had girlfriends, like how I would feel. You'd. But I can't actually get. I can't understand. You'd lose your shit. Yeah. I think you would. I think I would. Yes, I do. It's hard. Like it depends as well your relationship with the with that girl. Because mm. I know some girl best friends have heard a bit bitchy. Like we kind of bitching about the girl. No, have you seen those TikToks? No. Oh my god! And it's about this this whole situation. And it's like the the oh the guy on the couch. No, it's um. Oh my god! I need to find them for you. It's this whole situation being like uh your you meet the girl best friend for the first time. And your one is like... Oh, she's like, hey. Yeah, she's like, oh, he doesn't speak about you. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you're like, Jason... We're going to get our our yearly picture together. Yeah, Can you take it and all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Shit like that stuff gives no. me... Yeah. Oh, my God. I couldn't couldn't stand in the room with her now. No, no. it's different. But it, I think it is a respect thing. If someone... in With every situation in a relationship, if someone's uncomfortable with something, you have to... Not that you have to stop doing what you're doing. No, but you should be able to voice your uncomfortable. And, and communicate. If, yeah, if they, yeah, if they value you... They won't do something that's going to make Upset you uncomfortable you. kind of thing. You're not yeah. asking them to not be friends with them. No. But like you said, there are lines there. Like, go and hang around with them. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Like, yeah. So we need two updates. I mm. want an update from college friend. Yes. And I also... College would, college lover boy. Yeah. And I would also like an update from somebody who is who has a relationship like that. Yeah. Who you can call in on the it. phone line and let us Because I could just be doing, being a psycho saying that, but I'm just yeah, like... Not. No, like, I just, I don't know. I just can't, I've never been in this situation. I know. I think I've only heard of bad experiences. That's yes. why, that's why I'm going off. I think it's hard to, to kind of imagine it if it. you've yeah. never, I've had boyfriends, very close boyfriends yes. who have been in my house and stuff, not lying in the bed or anything, no. but like they'd pop in for yeah. cups of teas and stuff. Yeah. And I did have boyfriends growing up, but I don't really have any boyfriends now. <laughs> you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, you yeah. Do. All Charlene's ones that yes. I robbed on her. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we, we need updates. Yes. And also tell us why the first fella was a piece of shit. Because oh, yeah. We need, to know, so we need we context. I wish we could answer them all. There's really good ones there, but we're going to, we're kind of trying. We saved them all. Yeah, we have them all so saved we? and we're going to get through them all throughout the season, which is really exciting to I see. I know, say. can't we? So, wrapping up today for today's sip or skip, we're going to do one based on one of the seeks and the stalls that we mm-hmm. want an update on again. Um, if you liked a friend as more than a friend, would you tell them? Sip means... Yes. Yes. <laughs> sip means no. I'm saying half a sip. Okay. That I would tell them when I, if I really, really like them. Like so multiple cold. sips, you mean? Of oh, a yeah. drink. And then, yeah. Yeah. I would <laughs> tell them if, I'd tell them when I was drunk. Yeah. You could get a feel for how they feel. And then if they brought it up sober, if their reaction was, no, I don't like you, you could be like, oh, I was drunk. Didn't know how it was. That's terrible. Blaming things on drink. But like, do you know what I mean? I know. At least you could get a, I feel like you can always kind of coax things People are more more open when they're drunk. They are a sober. The stories. You what is it again? A drunk, drunk mind. words is a sober talk. No, no. <laughs> a, drunk, a drunken a drunk. mind speaks a sober <laughs> yeah. heart. Wow. Charlene's like words are <laughs> drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually am drunk. Yeah. But yeah, I think I tell them when I was drunk. What's the harm in that? So would you plan on telling them, or do you think it would just pop out? It probably will pop out. Like if you're all, if you're always around someone like that, and I also feel like people get the feel for people too. Do you know what I mean? You do. You kind of know, don't you? You do definitely. So they, if they already have like a feeling mm. about it, kind of play along with it when you're drunk and just see how it goes. If it works in your favour, yeah, well, real. If, if it doesn't, what if like they're a really close friend and you don't you're have to like, be embarrassed and you don't want to ruin the friendship yeah. though either. <laughs> but then like if if you really are that close like it, it won't be a, a weird conversation if you're like here I actually really like you and if they're like no sorry I'm just not feeling it and oh, then again no, I don't know I'd be too awkward yeah. shit oh my god I got too awkward in this no, situation I'm, I'm not an awkward person but oh my god I'd die I'm sticking with sip I'm gonna go skip are you because I think I'd just die if they didn't like there's certain things goodbye my lover <laughs> <laughs> there's certain things that I couldn't like would really but like I don't really care about much. You stuff. don't get embarrassed easily. No, no. But that I think I'd die if they were like, oh my god, I don't feel the same. I don't think I could talk to them. 
don't like rejection. You know what? I actually did. I actually did kiss my friend when I was younger. And it was, I think I was about 16. I was actually away on holidays. And I was the next day, I just, I couldn't even look at him. No. I couldn't look at him. Are you still friends with him now? Yeah. Oh. I actually see him over in London there when I was over. Oh. Um, He came up to meet us, but... I couldn't look. Oh my god! I was and I had. I think Why? I drank, it was my it was my birthday, my sixteenth birthday. I drank a whole bottle of wine mm. again with a drink. Like, I know. God, I think, <laughs> um, and I kissed him. And the next day, I remember my dad was driving us to Slide and Splash in Portugal. Oh fun! That water park, and I sat in the front. And I could I was having to put my earphones in and just sat there. <laughs> I just couldn't cope. Like Why? there's certain just things felt that so I just. Embarrassed. There, I just. I think I had the ick for myself. I like, oh, can't believe you? that happened. Like it was just we were such friends. Like yeah, it's like oh no, it was no. just. I I was just making it awkward. No one else made. He wasn't yeah. awkward. He was you made it awkward normal. for yourself. And I'm just about like it so much. Look, like, I was like I can't even speak to him. Like but like I don't even know how you'd bring the conversation up sober. Like fair fair play to anybody who would yeah. be in that situation and just bring it up casually sober you must be so confident and I take my hat off to you so much to just imagine yeah. just sitting someone down your boy best friend or your boyfriend like a boyfriend yeah. and just being like here being able to. I have feelings for you is there any chance <laughs> of <laughs> of, oh. of this like going anywhere or are we just friends have you ever seen the movie Love Rosie it's one of my favourite movies ever Not but basically it's about two friends who were always in love with each other no one ever said it they yeah. kissed one drunken night but the girl doesn't remember and then their whole life they keep skipping each other. So one of them's in a relationship. Oh, then yes, the other yes, one, yes. Then they break up. The other one's in one and they keep like missing each other and they tell each other they love they love each other. In the then, end? Yeah, and then they get with they each get, other? Yeah. Aww. But like it took them like 20 or like 10 years to actually all admit it like to each but other. But I feel like we've all had someone like that in our life at one stage. In our life, I'm 26. Like that you like, like, like when you were younger. Other, like, no, not missing each other, but that you liked but neither of you said it. I can't think of someone right, but yeah, probably. Yeah. I probably did say it. No. <laughs> Said it with not words. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah, so I'm saying sip when you're drunk. I'm saying skip because I die. Because I die. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I think that's enough drunk stories for this Isn't week. Isn't it? Yeah, for, for this episode. I don't we need to traumatise people anymore no. with our shenanigans. No, definitely not. But no. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Me too. I really enjoyed the secrets and stalls this week. Yeah. We need updates and our German word of the week. Give it to us again. Strohalm. Strohalm. Say it with me. Strohalm. 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 But I think that wraps us up for this week's podcast. I really hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, we had a bar. Yeah. Continuing, going to continue to enjoy our podcast every week. Um, like I said, we're going to put up on our stories um, the different dilemmas and stuff that we want you mm-hmm. to send in. If you have any or if you have any suggestions or anything that you want to chat about, we are a safe space. Um so, and we will try to get to everyone's as well at I some know, point. There's, so there's, many. Uh, there's a lot, which we're very grateful for. But um, yeah. yeah, I think that's us for this week, is it? Love yous. Yay, bye, love yous. Subscribe to this podcast for free on the Go Loud app.